But yeah, here, like, I, I want to just show off some of the yeah, stuff. Uh, so th these guys will try to pin me down, and then if I look around here, these guys are going to try to flank me. Uh, the grenade throws are also a lot more accurate now. Like, that was a pretty good grenade throw. And as you can see, this sneaky bastard is coming around. So, like, now I'm, like, totally surrounded, right? Like, they've got me from, like, every angle. Let me turn off no target. So you can just see, like, how aggressively they're trying to, like, push that position. Where the fuck do you go? <laughs> uh, I guess another big thing is like, um, like I'm pretty proud of this. Not everybody's going to notice this, um, but when it's not there, it, it feels horrible. Like one of the big problems before was like, the AI were always like caught staring at walls. Um, and in video games, this is usually a problem, like because um, AI yeah, just they don't really know the distinction between like what's a wall and what's like not a wall, right? Um, and like, what's a doorway? And like, so if I enter a room, like, which way should I look? Uh, so what we actually do is like, we have, the AI are always looking for paths um, the player could come from, and then that's where they they try to look towards. Um, so this way, they'll they'll basically never be caught staring at a wall because they're always trying to look like where is the enemy going to come from? See this guy staring at a doorway right here. Um, like most video games, they won't bother with that. They'll just have the AI always tracking the enemy. Um, but for us in Treypang, it's different because the player can, can go invisible at any point um, and end up behind the enemies, right? And then they still need to be looking at a logical position, um, and that could be like wherever I could be coming from. Uh, but we don't want them like doing a 180 and like looking at me because I'm, I'm invisible right now, right? So, um, so these guys are all spread out like pretty far from each other. Um, if I fire my gun right here, this room, we can see they're all trying to guess where that sound came from and where that target can possibly pass from. And they're trying to take cover. So like, this guy's trying to take cover from, from that position. And this guy's watching that area. Um, so you can see like they're all like taking cover and, and looking at ways that, that make sense from like there are two doorways here. Um, and the sound came from this room. So the hostile's coming somewhere from that direction. And then after a certain amount of time, they'll start guessing and like, start thinking, okay, I guess he's not in here, maybe he's in here. Uh, so you can see, like, he's even looking up there. He's like, what if you went up there? Um, it's a pretty subtle thing, but if it's not there, it looks really bad, because they'll just be staring at walls while they're walking around. Like, they'll just be like, walking around staring at this wall or something like that, uh, which we saw a lot in the last demo. Uh, but I'm now, like, they're always trying to watch for, like, where you could come from. And it actually makes it a lot more challenging, because if I'm trying to sneak up on this guy, like, uh, I need to make sure like he's not looking my way because he's going to be looking at one of the ways I could come from. So, uh, but usually the, the way to look from is like the shortest way, right? So if they like this guy sees me here and I, I fire my gun, if I close, he's he's always going to be looking here. So if I just rush through here, he's going to spray me down uh, or run. <laughs> oh, no, you ran away. <laughs> right. I mean, I need a better example. Than that. He's like, "Fuck that, man! I'm out of here." Yeah, he's like, "No." Okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> try that again. but that's right, the so beauty of your dynamic ai though is like they're always like thinking they're he was like okay fuck that he went invisible and he ran his ass away yeah like I, the other thing is like they prefer to avoid tight spaces um which is also a new thing um because before like you could just like hide in a corner like here or in a lot of video games this is the problem right like i can just hide right here and then if there's a bunch of guys right here they'll just scream in one at a time and i'll just pick them off right uh, but now they avoid that so if i'm if i'm camping in a spot like this they're going to try to find a way around or even try to lob grenades down there so i'll actually yeah let me, let me show that actually um, all right so like okay now they're mad at me right and then um, as you can see like they're they're spraying that yeah, they don't want to get in there because that's a bad spot. And they're doing everything they can to just like keep watching it and like spraying at it. Uh, so even when they're all the way down here, like the, the way he's looking at, like in most video games, he would just be looking at the location where I came from, which would be here, which would be a wall. But as you can see, like he's still looking at where is he going to come from, and he's still looking from that way. Uh, so if I just sprinted down this way and tried to follow him, like this guy would be watching me and he would, he would spray me down. Uh, so like. 
like the most, I guess, tactical way for me to, to get this guy would be if I if I went, went around and tried to get him from behind. Uh, unfortunately, I lost him now, but <laughs> where you go? Oh, he's over there. Okay, so then, yeah, I, I could sneak up behind him because he's still trying to get that position that, that he saw me from. Uh, but eventually, eventually, like after enough time, he might actually go inside. Are you guys gonna go? Okay, well this is that's pretty embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> Still working in progress. Okay. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, like eventually after a while, he's gonna start guessing. Like, all right, he's he's, he's not in this room anymore. He's gonna start looking around, um, and he's even looking out here because there could be a bad guy here that could be shooting at him. So, are there different like combat states that these guys have? Um. So they have idle and they have alert and they have combat. Um, I guess by default they're usually idle, um, and then that's when their guns are down. So so these guys are up. So so if their gun is pointed down, that means they're idle. Uh, but once I do something sus, that makes them alert. And then he'll go and take a look. And then if there's nothing, he'll just go back to relaxed. Uh, but if it's a loud sound, or he gets damaged, or he sees me, then he goes into combat. So, like, if, for example, I'm just, like, hiding here, and I shoot my gun, he's now in combat. I'm and as you can see, he's expecting a bad guy to come out of there, so he's, he's keeping it out of his eye there. So much realism. Uh, yeah, so even now when they move, they try to hug cover, but not too tightly. Um, as you can see, like before, there were always problems where they would try to wander off into the open. Uh, but now he'll try to look for spots that either protect his legs or protect half of his body. So as you can see, like he's trying to he's trying to guesstimate where that bad guy is going to come from, and he's going to try to hug like the walls or the planters so that he has some protection while he's moving around. And like I think, yeah, if he's near a planter and I start shooting at him, he might even start crouching. Nope, he's headed that way. Okay, You're too much of a him. gamer. <laughs> I killed him too fast. Uh, like if... Yeah, see, now he starts crunching because he's got some low cover right there. And then once he's away from that, he starts standing. Uh, before, yeah, there you go. So he's... Oh. Yeah. So even even things like desks and planters, like, they will use as cover. And it's it's fully dynamic, like, there's no... Like if I if he's taking cover behind something and I, I flank him, he's gonna try to move. So like I'm constantly ruining his cover and he's constantly relocating. Uh, what are the differences with hostage taking now? Hostage taking now. Um, <laughs> I guess we had a lot of bugs before and I fixed them. Um, <laughs> that's how you fix bugs. Yeah, let's just kill him. Uh, let's see. Oh, I remember now. Okay, so. Oh shit. So now, when they when I take a hostage, uh, one guy will always try to be watching me, and the other guy will try to flank. Uh, so before they used to get kind of stuck, uh, but now they make sure that there's always one guy like watching me. So I don't know where the other guy went. He's probably sneaking around. But this guy is trying to. Oh no! He, I guess... <laughs> but um, yeah, they'll try to keep at least one guy with with eyes on me. So that way, like, it doesn't get awkward where like I just lose them and they're like, "Oh, where do you go?" Yeah. Now, if I kill one of them, like, they'll all get mad. Like before, there was a bug. Or if I kill one guy, they would not really notice, but now they definitely notice. I guess, yeah, just to show that they can attack somewhat competently now, like... Yeah, so here's four guys, they're doing nothing. I'm gonna shoot my gun at them. Alright, and now let's cloak and watch and see what they do. That insurgency throw. Yeah, those insurgency grenade throws. Um, so as you can see, like they're gonna avoid just taking the direct route in. Like these guys are gonna flank around. Um, and he's still watching that door. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, it's really hard to show too, but they also peek corners now. Like before. Um, so I mean, in most games, when when AI 
when AI um, go across the corner, like they usually go like this and then rotate to turn. Um, but basically I made, I made it so as they turn um, a corner, they will like rotate to peek around that corner. Uh, like if, if you play video games, like you automatically do that already, right? So yeah, see that guy right there, like he, he came out here, he looked and he looked like both ways. Um, Yes, yeah, so you, you can see like he turns around and looks around the room as he enters. Uh, he clear he checked where he came from too, just to double check you weren't following him. But little does he know. <laughs> yeah, so like now they're a lot more observant than before. Like sometimes they do still rush in, uh, but you won't have any more cases where like a guy goes like uh uh and then like where they act like they're like a tank or something like that. Um, the way they act, they move around corners now is generally a lot smoother. Uh, see, like this guy, he was, he was looking here, and then he turned around here, and then turned to look here. Oh, and he heard me. <laughs> so yeah, I guess generally, like the way the AI like act to move, like it's a lot smoother, and you won't notice them like staring off in the distance or getting confused. Uh, which means that on harder difficulties, like attacking these guys like straight on is pretty hard because they're always going to be like suppressing or looking your way. Um, you got to really. Okay, so uh, he, he peeked there. Um, you gotta really be sneaky and, and find your way around them. Because, um, yeah, they're gonna be watching. They're looking for you. And during that, they're still talking to each other, like literally. Uh, they're like, that That makes it a little bit easier and at your advantage because you can hear them. You can hear them talk shit to you on the other side of the wall looking for you. And they're also like, yeah. you know, if you kill all of them and leave one, um, you know, though, does that dude panic? Uh, so actually, yeah, a lot of these new lines that that VA branded and Panda recorded, uh, like they, they they don't really enter like a panic state or anything. But the the voice acting, I guess, does show like like the the combat is getting pretty intense at times. And and when there's only one guy left, like he does sound pretty sad. <laughs> so Where is yeah, everybody? Actually change. <laughs> uh, I mean, I, I guess I did tweak the AI so like if you murder like a whole squad. And there's only like one or two guys left. They won't just like relentlessly attack. They'll actually try to recruit. Because um, they want to so live. That's that's being... Sorry. Because they want to live. Yeah, they want to live. So I guess that's an important thing. Like, um, we want them to, I guess, act like you know they are they are in a video game. But we also want them to to seem like they don't want to just get themselves killed to shoot you. <laughs> like we do want them to seem like they're on a mission and they don't want to die. Um, so yeah, that's pretty important. As I'm as I'm watching this and the countless hours I have playing this damn game, <laughs> like just actually watching them do this is, is really cool. I, I had no idea that they like peak corners like like that was a pretty turn. And now he's yeah. like trusting his teammates on the right to like really keep <laughs> as he kicks the chair. <laughs> it's still trafing, of course. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's a tiny thing, right? But um Without it, it, it feels really bad because, like, you know, you, you, if you're just running around and you catch like, a guy staring at the wall, like, it just totally ruins your immersion. And it's like, it kind of ruins the challenge, right? You might be playing on like the hardest difficulty, but you shoot a guy and he's just staring at the wall. Like, that, that sucks. Uh, <laughs> so, like, I guess the thing with Craypang is like, the AI is 100% dynamic. Like, there's zero scripting at all. And the player can go invisible and go anywhere. Uh, and so, like, most games don't have this. Like, usually it's like, you know, you enter an arena and you hear from 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 one side, and then the AI is on the other side, and you slowly push them back, and you don't really get a chance to flank them, and the AI don't have to relocate. Uh, but in Treypang, like I can show up anywhere, like I can show up here and start shooting at these guys, and they have to react in a way that makes sense. Um, so like, it's really challenging for us. Like it makes our lives so much harder because we give the player the ability to do whatever the fuck they want. Um, but it, it, it's also why like it's it's so much more interesting than a typical like triple A shooter where you're just pushing the AI from point A to B. Um, like you can you can use this arena like however you want. Like um, I can show up here, start shooting at this guy. <laughs> you can hear some funny via Brandon's lines. But yeah, these guys they they move in a way that makes sense. Like no matter where I go, what I do, um, they'll always try to like attack me in a way that makes sense. Um, I can't really think of any other game on the market that does this like this. Like, I guess the thing about Trey Pang is like, it's a single player game, but 
when you're fighting against these guys, it's like you're hosting a dedicated server with a bunch of bots, like, because um, you know, like they're not just like they move to a scripted point and then die there and then respawn kind of thing. They just do whatever they want. Is there anything else you want to show? I think you fucking nailed it. <laughs> Right. I hope you can get something meaningful out of that. Like you don't have to No, there that. there was a lot of meaningful stuff. I don't think I'll edit that much out, honestly.